Day one, we're gonna take the road plugs out of it, put some race plugs in it, get the car warmed up, take it to tech, get the trailer out. A lot of little things to do this morning, but man, 53 degrees, look at the sun. Holy mackerel, no humidity. How could this not be fun? You can get $122 worth of fuel, Roy. Is that what you're saying? $122 worth of fuel. Yeah. And if I just pour it in the car in my cans, I get it for 122. Yeah. But for 222, you it, take the bottles it comes with the free bottles. That's right. Who oh, owns the bottles? Are they yours? I do. They're yours. Do you <laughs> yeah. need them? Well, I mean, I need them, but if, if you need them, we're at race week. If oh, you no, need I, them. I, I have enough. Okay. I have bottles. All right. Thank you guys, Matt. Hey. Damn it, I give 12 bucks for them bottles. <laughs> <laughs> I knew something was up. <laughs> okay, so it's officially day one. Truck and trailer in the impound lot. Jeff and I are surviving from this point on. Little trailer in the wagon. Uh, it survived. Be fast. Day one, race week, 2023. Let's get it on. Yeah. So I told you, I told you we had these shirts yes. made. And that the back of that shirt represents you more than anybody else on this entire race. This is awesome. This I is love you. This man. So, can you you have a two seconds to tell us a little Cliff Notes yeah. version of what happened to you and what you battled to get the yeah. the yeah, meltdown Firebird sure. back for to sure. the unlimited you know, we, champion again? We still don't know what necessarily caused the failure. One hundred percent. It may have just been a combination of a lot of little things, but uh, one of the pistons actually got so hot that it started to push the wrist pin up through the top of the piston. Like you can wow. see the wrist pin in the top of the piston. Um, and eventually, you know, it just gave up. Yeah, so obviously scrapped the motor, yep. and, and then and then came the incredible story of how you made it back to yeah, Carney, Nebraska. I put a post out that uh, I needed a, a big block Chevy, you know, with a carburetor and a distributor, and my engine builder, Eric, uh, one of his buddies, had one that he had just built, well, actually he built it like two years ago, sitting on the stand, that he was like, you guys can use this one. And another one of my buddies had messaged earlier that week, said, if you guys need anything this week, let us know. So we called them at like midnight <laughs> and we're like, hey, we need something. And yeah, we like, need you. I'll go get it and I'll bring it to you. So it was an overnight motor swap yes. followed by a 450 mile drive yes. back to Kearney, yes. completely taking a car from a data logged nightmare right. to a normally aspirated old school aspirated, bracket car. HEI, yeah. The whole but did back. all of that to come back, finish, yep. fastest overall average, yes. locked in, unlimited class, uh, back to back unlimited class uh, for yes, you guys yes, absolute dominant car but a cool story and we had to get you that shirt because it represents you and your team more than anybody it. here man we'll wear it with pride. great job man good luck Thank this you. week Thank thanks you. for your time Ready, it's teched in, fast with flying colors. The actual, the first, the first time in my drag racing career that I've gone to a tech session and had everyone ask me for everything that's in the car. Thankfully, the car's built right, it's built safe, and we're rule compliant. So, but for the first time, they ask all the right questions. So it's kind of comforting to know that. It was one of the tech guys from Vandermeer that was here. Um, it did a great job. Uh, so kudos to him. I, I forgot his name. But kudos to him for actually doing a true safety check of the car. Uh, it's in. We just put we just put the tune in for the car. It's our best guess. We don't know this altitude. We're in excess of 5,000 feet today at Pueblo. It's a beautiful day. Not a whole lot of humidity, but not a whole lot of air either. So it's an absolute guess. We've done a two-step check on the car. Goals are for the week. 
one, have fun. And we're just going to go out and have a blast. Uh, number two would be finish. We always want to finish. And, man, if we could even run one-tenth of a second faster than we did last year in 2.0 at this elevation, uh, man, it may be a mistake. Strategically, we entered the unlimited class. We're, we're going to go run with the big boys. I don't think we have anything for them, but they also have to make the entire race too. So if you're going to make a car that makes 3,000 horsepower pulling a trailer through the mountains and, and you can finish 1,200 miles, man, kudos to you because you're one bad mother. Uh, so we're, we're, we're going to go hang out with the big boys today. We just spent some time with Jason uh, from, from the Meltdown Firebird, the the back-to-back -back unlimited champion. Uh, what, a, what a great guy, uh, amazing dude, incredible work ethic. Uh, but man, we're just here to make friends. We're here to make memories. I did. I did that shit. Excited to let go of the button and go down the track and plug it. Let's go time, huh? Let's go time. They called us in the lanes. Let's go get the nerves away. That Camaro on the right lane goes 964. We won't get a time for tap. So again, Ultimate Radio, we're running you right now. Unlimited, you should be in seven and eight. Hot Rod, Hot Rod, come on down, 11 and 12, please. Hot Rod, come on down, 11 and 12. You gonna put helmet on? And I guess we turn the radio. Hey, can I, all right. Tim, the let's 67 go, model on, Pontiac Le Mans. They call him Timmy Two Turbos. Another day, let's go, Right one down, huh? Let's go. Go, no, man. Get it. Of my career. God, I haven't driven a car that slow in a long time. It took forever to get to the finish line. It just it wouldn't come fast enough. Yeah, just, just, just tie right there. I think I found the problem. It was a pushed pin. I found it in the connector when I was putting it together. Maybe. Maybe. That was a push pin, so we got a spare. Let's go, baby. We're back. Man, I, we put it on the two-step after the solenoid repair, and it, it made a lot of boost. So I'm just not comfortable with it, so I'm going to take some of it out. Uh, I'm going to bring it in. I mean, it's still going to be there, but we're not leaving. We're not leaving on that kind of boost, so...
He's going to lose his fucking mind. Thank you, buddy. Love you, man. Excellent job. I'm going to drink to that.